Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Daniel Kvyat has spoken more about his demotion from Rebel, while George Russell has made a new statement. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Kvyat, who said he had an opportunity to race for Ferrari, before losing his Rebel seat just a few months later. Kvyat was moved into the Rebel seat in 2015, and while the car wasn't good at all, he did manage to outscore then teammate Daniel Ricciardo in the standings. But a certain Max Verstappen was doing wonders in the Red Bull Junior team that year. And even though Kvyat had a decent start to the following season in 2016, after a few races Red Bull made the call to demote Kvyat to Toro Rosso and replace him with Verstappen. Now there was no chance Kvyat was getting his seat back due to how good Verstappen was, and he ended up finishing his career with the Junior team. And to add extra pain to this, Kvyat said that before the demotion, he was offered the chance to replace Kimi Raikkonen at Ferrari. He told the Track Limits podcast, I was performing really well when I just scored another podium for the team at the 2016 Chinese Grand Prix, and then at that time I also had a proposal to race for Ferrari to replace Kimi. That was going on behind the curtain. So it was a very difficult situation also for me mentally to go back from being wanted by Ferrari and having seen the contract, and then you go back to Toro Rosso suddenly and then you're like, it's not going very well suddenly. Now we know how ruthless Red Bull can be with their driver lineups. I mean, it's very much a case of, if you don't perform, you're out. I mean, look at how quickly Pierre Gasly and Alex Albon were replaced when they didn't perform to standards. The thing with Kvyat, though, was that he wasn't performing too badly. Yes, there were a few bad races, but he'd also been putting in some very strong drives. So I can understand why at the time Ferrari would have been interested, but the fact Kvyat seemingly chose Red Bull instead, only to be demoted soon after, would have hurt for sure. But let's move on to George Russell, who believes that Max Verstappen could have potentially damaged his career if he joined a team such as Mercedes early and had a teammate at the level of Lewis Hamilton. Now Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff recently admitted that Mercedes were interested when he was younger, but couldn't offer Verstappen a drive because they didn't have room, unlike Rebel who have a second team that they can stick their drivers in. He was quoted by the Italian edition of Motorsport.com as saying, We had Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg and both had long-term contracts. Max was clearly an interesting youngster, but at that moment, we could have offered him a place in GP2, and then maybe a contract. But Helmut Marko was able to offer him a seat in Formula 1, and I finally advised him to go that route too, and that meant seeing him leave the Mercedes orbit. Now Russell spent three years at Williams before joining Mercedes, and knows firsthand what it's like to have Lewis Hamilton as a teammate. Even though he beat Hamilton in the standings last year, and has got off to a better start to this season than Lewis has, there's no doubt that having a seven-time world champion as a teammate is very, very challenging. So having those years at Williams to develop certainly would have helped Russell, and he believes Verstappen might have had a more difficult time if he joined Mercedes from the get-go. He told Square Mile, Max Verstappen obviously got his promotion after 18 months, but perhaps if he went to a team like Mercedes against Lewis Hamilton at the peak of his powers, it could have damaged his career. So you've got to look at it from both sides, and for sure Max was a greater driver after 3 or 4 years under his belt compared to where he was after 18 months under his belt. If you're going up against a guy who's absolutely in his prime and dominating in the car that he's so used to, maybe he wouldn't be in the position he is today. Now back then, former Mercedes driver Rosberg had such a tough time beating Hamilton. I mean, he had to put absolutely everything into beating Hamilton to the title, and after three years of trying, he was just about able to do it in 2016. He even retired after achieving that, so it goes to show how good Hamilton is, and if Hamilton can get comfortable with the W14 and the team improve the car, I think we could see Hamilton get back to that form. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.